Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on debugging tips and tricks in Visual Studio 2022. I'll be sharing some powerful techniques to help you debug your code more efficiently. So whether you are a, you are a beginner or an experienced developer, these tips will enhance your debugging workflow. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2022 open. If you haven't installed, go to the Microsoft official website and download and install it before you come back to the video. But if you have, then let's get to it straight away. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2022 open. So we go ahead and create a new project. So here, obviously, we've got a bunch of templates that we can use. As you can see on the language bit, I have selected C Sharp. So let's select the first console app, C Sharp console application and click on the next. Here, you can configure your project details here, like project name, location and whatnot, yeah? So here we click on the next. So here you can actually set your .NET framework version. We're not gonna look too much into that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the create. So here, as you can see, we've got a very simple console app created for us now. So let's go ahead, but before we do, let's put this inside our, our console app here. So I'm gonna put this bit down. So here, um, we're just gonna put a method. Uh, it's, a, it's a static. And so we're just gonna call this multiply. So we, it takes an int input, an integer. We're gonna call it input. And we're only going to return uh, the input multiply by two. So this is just what we're going to put here. So as you can see, it's a very simple method here. So here we're going to declare another integer. And we're going to call this num for number. And we're going to set it to 10. So here we're going to actually add another integer and we're going to call this result and this will be equal to uh, the method multiply so we're going to put in the number the num for number so as you can see it's a very simple stuff yeah so this is what we have here for now so let's go to the so this section. We're going to look at basic debugging techniques here. Yeah? So first, let's cover some basic debugging. Basic debugging. Let's look at um, setting up setting uh, breakpoints. So breakpoints are essential for forcing code executions at specific points. So to set the break uh, to set the breakpoint, we click on the left margin here. So whatever row that we want to set our breakpoints here, yeah, we can click here. So as you can see, we've got this dot. Yeah, so we, once we click it, it will turn into a red. So that means we've set a breakpoint here. So you can also set a breakpoint by pressing the F9, okay? So let's go ahead and click and, and, and click F5 or click on this play button to debug it.
So as you can see here now, we've got this brake button, um, the, the brake button or the brake point hit. Okay. So basically we set it to force whenever the, whenever the execution reached this line. Yeah, so as you can see, it's paused now. So you can go ahead, you can continue by clicking on the continue here. Yeah. So as you can see, it's nice and simple for the breakpoint. So next, let's look at stepping through codes. So you, you can use the F10 to step over a line of code and F11 to step into a function. So let's have a look at both of them. So, so here, what we got, we're going to set another um, breakpoint here. Okay, so right now, and then another breakpoint here. So right now we have two breakpoints. So let's go through it again. So the F10 is to step over a line of code, and the F11 is to step into a function of the code. So let's click on that. Let's run an F5 or click on run again. So right now we've got the, the breakpoint hit on this line here. So we can click on the, the F10 to step over the line. So let's go ahead, F10. So I clicked on the F10. So we actually step over to this method. Yeah, so let's go ahead and click on the F10 again. So it actually step over here. So let's click on the F11. So you see the F11 is, is stepped over back to the, the method call. So let's go up, click on the F11 again. So basically the F11 allows you to step into the nest and then the F10 to step into the, the method. Okay, so let's go ahead then. I'm just going, um, the next bit here is we're going to look at some advanced debugging techniques, okay? So first we look at a conditional breakpoints. Yeah. So a conditional breakpoints allow you to force execution only when certain conditions are met. Okay. So like here, we have we have um, this method coming the input the input uh, integer this variable. So to do that, yeah, let's right click on this. On this breakpoint. So here, as you can see, we have conditions. Let's click on the condition. So here, it's we can set something. We can put input here is equivalent to uh, five. So basically, so so basically, if um, let's, 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 let me close this bit and let me show you, okay. So here, as you can see, let's, let's go here. So as you can see here, yeah, the conditional as, um, expression, so if input is the same as 5, then the condition is true, okay. So basically, let's go up, yeah, and set our number to 5. This will make the condition true. Okay. And let's go ahead and run it. So right now we have a number here. So this is where the condition is. So let's go ahead and click on the F11. Okay. So here, as you can see, we've, we've, we, we're actually back into the method. Yeah. So here, the, condi the conditional expression is true because the input value is five. So let's look at it here. So let's let's move on to the next bit. So it's, we have a data tips and pinning. So right now, yeah, if we hover over the data, we get the we get the uh, the, the, the value of the variable. Okay. So here, uh, you can pin data tips keep them visible even after restart, restarting the debug section. Yeah, so you can pin it here. Okay. And then we can even add comments. We can type a comment, we can add a comment to it as well. So as you can see, it's a very simple stuff. So next, let's look at 
let's look at some diagnostic tools and visualizers. Okay. So the diagnostic tool window provides insight into the CPU usage, uh, the memory consumption, and more. So to to, to get that, yeah. Let's 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 close the debug. So we select the debug here, then Windows. So here, as you can see, show diagnostic tools. So this is what we get. So this will actually show you um, how much the CPU is being used and whatnot. Yeah. So let's go ahead and run it again. By this time, let's remove the break the, the breakpoints. And leave just one. So let's pop in this diagnostic tool and click F5. So as you can see here now, we get in the, the diagnostic sections and the process memory, the events, and everything, all the all the insights that you can get. Okay, but I um. You're gonna you're gonna have to look further. You're gonna have to look at it and try your, and try it yourself. Okay. So at this, and that's it here. So you've learned some essential debugging tips and tricks in Visual Studio 2022. So these techniques will help you identify and fix issues in your code more efficiently. So if you have any questions or need any further assistance, feel feel free to leave comments below. And make sure you like the video if you haven't and subscribe to the channel as well. So have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.